Okay. Well, hello there, viewers. This is episode... Shit. Don't know. Of Bloodborne, but we're going to tell you all the story as it comes up. There's Dougie there. Hello, and I think this is episode 8. Might be episode 8. Aye, Might be. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see if you're right at some <laughs> point. Okay, so we've just been to Yahar Ghul and we've got the leveled up to plus 4 saw spear, saw cleaver, pardon me. Cleaver. And this cool thing called the tonitrus um, that you can electrify. Yeah. So and the elements to... are quite important, so certain things are good against, obviously, certain things. So fire is good against beast. We technically don't know what um, voltage stuff is good against yet, but we will. We'll soon. Right, well, you keep us right, because that's something I don't really know about this game, is the oh, really? weaknesses. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you keep us right on the mechanics as mm -hmm. well. In I fact, do. see as we get past probably the next couple of episodes, we're out with the realm of my sound knowledge ah, and wanted true. to be carried by you pretty heavily. So, see, before you teleport anywhere, could yep. you do me a favour? Sure. Go two tombs up. We've got a wee bit of cleaning up to do. Well, oh. I've, st I've started playing this myself as well, viewers, to remind myself, and we've fucking missed a big thing. Can you go back to the old workshop? Oh, abandoned old workshop. Yep. Oh, somebody's going to be raging watching that video. <laughs> like a proper big, like, I don't know how important it is, but it's like a big scene and all that. Really should be getting it. Okay. So, right. I, I can't even think. Something... Yeah, I'd forgotten about it as well until I played it again. Something else is in this room that you've not picked up yet. Something else is in this room. Mm hmm. Doll. But it isn't as visible, so I can give you the workshop like, bench. It's a wee bit hard to see. In this room? Oh, that's oh. small yep. hair ornament. Oh, and then you give that to the doll, don't you? Yeah. Or do you? Let's read it first. A small, very ordinary hair ornament. Although it has been lost for quite some time, one can still see signs of the care with which this tasteful ornament was once kept colour would stand out most brilliantly against a head of greyish hair. Good call, which is, the only, which is the only hint. We only know a few people with grey hair. And it's probably German and the doll. So you can take a pick. So you can give it to both of them, like? No. <laughs> Alright, okay. <laughs> See. Yeah. Having a wee sleep. Yeah. Ah. Welcome home, good hunter. I must have drifted off. What is it you desire? Hand over small hair ornament. Mm -hmm. What? What is this? I... I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel. A yearning, something I never felt before. What's happening to me? <gasps> Tell me, Hunter. Could this be joy? Ah. Tear stone. Mm hmm. Have a look. It's a uh, usable. A usable. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yep. Silver shining tear stone used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. A doll sheds neither blood nor tears, and thus its nature remains unknown. Okay, another one of those tragic teardrops that we can rend out of someone's ducts and fashion into um, the betterment of our weapon. So, great. Actually, it's pretty good as well, actually. Yeah. Is it? Can you set it up here, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Let's smash it right now. Oh, really? I think, yeah, I think you have to physically smash it into a thing. Use. Yeah, use and use. Bang. <clears throat> Tear blood gem, and then you set it up here, do you? Dukes? Yep, sorry, I said yep, but I don't know if that didn't come through. Oh, did I cut there? Two be seconds. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've not got my phone on me. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> one minute fifty. Blood gem fortification, yeah? Uh, yep, and then just pick your, pick your weapon. HP and continues then... to recover too. Oh, well, that's another one I thought it was. I'm sure it'll be alright, but I, I reckon it's like you would hardly even notice that going up. I know, I know, I know. True. <laughs> Let's just put on the attack up one then. Yeah. Although you can put it on the second slot, that's how that works, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. right, okay, yeah. cool. Right, so if we need a top up, we just switch to the to nitrous and wait a minute. Okay, so where are we going now? Well, back to Cathedral World, because do you want to do Eileen's Quest? Let's do Eileen's Quest, okay. 
So I was struggling to me. I was actually playing my, say for ages, this running around thinking what could possibly trigger her. And I worked it out. It's as soon as you unlock um, some gates that we've not unlocked yet, but we have the ability to do it really, really quickly. Okay. So we've unlocked one of the gates. True. If you remember what that is, head there. Okay. So that's not the main gate here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, go up that way. Oh, it is. Okay. Yep. Cool. So last time we managed to unlock her by coming to the other side. Let's see how the tonitrus goes. Yeah. yeah, it's a quick weapon. Feels like it's a lot of <clears throat> yeah. damage as well, and I'll just keep it out to top up that uh, wee bit of damage. Yep. And it just looks cool as well. Yeah. That and guy's something still about, yeah. And there's just something about it's like free bolt paper. Yep. Which is just so handy. Two hits. Yeah. We're heading through and there's a lot of enemies. Like I always end up just running through half the people in this bit because there's just so many. And the amount of times it's taken me with a particular boss that's in this direction. Mm, really? Um, yeah, so you're heading left here. Roger that. And you're wanting to go you want to go down instead of maybe up. Okay. That you'd be tempted to go. Let's see, right. See, I don't mind fighting people when it's the first time we're here. Yeah. You know? I feel like that's part of the experience, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Ooh, somebody shot me with something there. That guy there, maybe? Uh, there is a, uh, there's a guy with a gun somewhere. Is it? And then in the other end of this place, mm -hmm. there's another gate okay. to unlock. Cool. And it seems that, for some reason, unlocking these two gates causes her to spawn. Without even a loading screen, she just appears. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So you probably have to like go and teleport somewhere from them. Nice. Was just kind of going on blind hope that the other guy didn't notice me and come help his pal yeah. out there. Aye, two of them are just bad news. Aye, yeah, one of them's not bad, but aye. It can, it can take you by surprise with one move, it can practically one-shot you. Yeah. But otherwise they're quite slow. Plus the, the, the Nitrous damage is just mm -hmm. pretty good right now. How would you say the name of that weapon? We maybe covered that in the last episode, the Tonitrous. Uh, I would say, I would say Tonitrous. Tonitrous. Absolutely no Yeah. I'm trying to think, what's the equivalent of Tonitrous? Tonitrous. No, uh, it doesn't sound right, does it? Nah. Okay. Incoming gate oh, yes. items up here though? No, nope. don't think so. Oh, there's one there. Okay. Maybe one there. And hopefully you can actually open it for this way, but this is the one that takes the £10,000... Pound? £2,000 <laughs> uh, <laughs> souls. Yeah, blood pounds. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now that that's open, she'll have appeared mm -hmm. next to the entrance of Cathedral Ward. Okay, cool. So just to kind of paint a landscape here, that this would actually be the way that a uh, citizen would normally normally enter Cathedral Ward. You'd go across the mm. bridge, you'd go to Odin um, Chapel, and then up these stairs, yep. and then there you go. We're in Cathedral Ward, the Grand Cathedral right in front of you. But we've had to go the, you know, the Mavericks direction, because everything was locked. That's a move that can just about one shot you as well if you get caught in that flame because it's still really? an option. Yeah, wow. that's quite nasty. Okay, so we could go back to Eileen and we could also cover every base in this wee bit here. We could go and see what's what. Mm -hmm. Just while we're here. Yep. Cool. Blood vials. Not overly decked out with resources here. Poison knife. Mm. Yeah, hit me. Don't need bolt paper just now. No, definitely not. When you go. Oh, sorry, I you know, totally forgot my, my job there. <clears throat> a knife slathered in poison. This curved knife is as thin and sharp as a surgeon's blade, often used for self-defense by special doctors in the healing church. They say that hunters traditionally avoid the use of poison, likely because the poison is too slow to act in the heat of the hunt. Mm, fair enough. Kind of paints a bad Aye. picture of itself. 
I know, but man, and enough. Yeah, I guess so. Now, I think this is where I was looking for earlier, wasn't it? Yes. Right, okay, yeah. so let's, let's do this right now. One bit as friendly and introduction as you can get. Yeah, and Yarnum, anyway. Oh, mm -hmm. Thank goodness. You're a hunter, right? Might you know of a safe place? The night is long, and a very little of the incense left. Please, there must be some nice place to run off to. Hmm, tale of Odin Chapel. Mm hmm. Oh, thank you, darling. Maybe I'll see you there. <laughs> okay, cool. So that's Yarnum's resident sex worker. <laughs> yep, yeah, sure does. You. And we've got another one here. Not from around here. No, not a sex worker. What a pathetic idea. You what? What, you think I'm a beast? Well, maybe I think you're a beast. And step away from my car, Tom. Enough of you. What, you think this is funny? Well, I certainly don't, so be gone with you. I'll have nothing to do with your beast sons. Well, what's this two-bit nonsense you're peddling? I heard you told that wench about some shelter. Well, she's a damn fool to trust an outsider. Oh, why? Well, her sort's probably just fixing to feed some of your coin. <laughs> oh, all right. What crafty lies does the outsider have today? You think I'm an easy mark? Yeah? Well, give me your best shot. So, you may have noticed that that guy's very untrust, untrusting of you. So he's kind of spending ages kind of going around the fact that he's not really asking for a safe place, but he's just asking to hear what lies you're spreading. It basically means that whatever you tell him, he's going to do the opposite. Yeah. So if you say Odin Chapel, he'll go to Yosefus Clinic. And if you say Yosefus Clinic, he will go to Odin Chapel. Maybe he knows about the other one, I'm not too sure. But. So right now we're going to sit, tell him to go to Yosefus Clinic so that he appears in Odin Chapel because we've alluded to this a little bit in our conversation with Yosefka. But there's something a bit strange going on in there. So we'd actually like him to go to Odin Chapel so tell of Yosefka's clinic. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Too short for that, bollocks. I know a superstition when I hear one. Outsiders. Even their lies are predictable. Okay, and it's going to be a crowded little Odin chapel when we return there. Yeah. There's some jump skills in this bit as well, if I remember no, right. It may, been that, it may have been that. It may have been that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I need to come back here, uh, ma'am. Oh, he's just oh. straight up killed me. Look at that. Good really? job, mate. <laughs> oh, he's talking to my best it friend at the door. It was almost comical the way they like, <laughs> trotted round and then turned to it. It's like a Scooby Doo episode. <laughs> yeah, and then he straight up washed me. Aye. Jesus, okay. Right, well, let's run back there. Although we are at Odin Chapel now, so we can check oh, out our new pals. Receive blood treatment? What's the... What, what do? It's basically the Yosefka blood vial equivalent. Ah, okay. I received blood treatment then. Oh, good. Come back. 
come close, dear. Don't worry, this isn't the first time. <laughs> Blood of Ariana. Blood taken from Ariana, Cathedral Ward Woman of Pleasure. The sweet blood of Ariana restores HP and temporarily speeds stamina recovery. A member of the old healing church would know that her blood is similar to precis precisely what was once forbidden. Interesting. Which is an... yeah. It's quite odd that it's oh, similar to forbidden Sorry, blood. Mm, she doesn't give you any more until you've used that one, presumably. Yeah. Okay, let's... Now, here's a weird thing. Oh no, I'll let you talk every day and I'll, I'll, if, hopefully I'll remember this weird thing. <laughs> The swindling off come up. Did you really think that'd work? There's no fool in me. Now, off with you. You heard me. Go away. I can't stand the stench of your lying breath. I'll spare you one nugget of advice. Beware the lady of the night. I can see it in her eyes. She deeply resents the young saint. She hears people whisper. She knows what people think of her. She despises the saint for having what she doesn't. Bloody wench, they should have moved her on ages ago. I'll spare you to beware, the blind man. There the beggar sits at the bottom of the bloody food chain, and then his ear acting like he owns the place. It's not to be trusted. What's he want with all those people anyway? That little weasel has a murky past, I'm telling you. No time for you, but what? Just can't stand this. Thing. Okay. So, so I actually forgot I that remember, she was here. Yeah, so that guy there, although he's the one that doesn't trust us, I'm fairly certain everything he says is backwards. Yeah. So he tells you to watch out for the woman in an ape because she's like jealous of the saint woman badge. The saint woman's got a wee bit of a dark yeah. um, story here as well. He then says to not trust the blind guy that's over there. I didn't know he was blind, but um, and he seems perfectly fine. The, the so, puddle man. Yeah, right. I'm assuming that's who he was talking about. Aye. Oh, brave hunter. You're alive. Thank you very much. The town is in disarray, but there are still people here. Together we await the help of the healing church. I cannot begin to express my gratitude to you. The only thing that I can offer is my own lowly blood. If it would suffice. Why? Why not? I'm taking everybody's. Does that delete the other one, though? No, no. I believe that they're separate. Items. You've already received oh, blood. It's a shame. Okay. It's so one thing that. Um, by the way, if you if you're a forum software person and you've not heard of who I'm about to mention, uh, the YouTuber Vati Vidja who's the master of all things lore and bloodborne heats in one of his videos he's pointed out that see if you see the if you look at the what'd you call her what'd you call her down there um saint lady aye saint lady when you speak to her she perks up and turns her head look oh, hello. and yeah. spies that's on what you. I was gonna yeah Sorry, I was gonna, that's the thing I was gonna try and remember yeah. to say and you want to be careful if you want to do a certain thing can't take too much of Ariana's blood okay we'll just do it once or else she gets very jealous. Yeah, we'll just do it once. And there's Eileen. Gosh, it's a busy chapel today. Mm-hmm. Oh, hello there. Perfect timing. I must warn you not to go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. Henrik, an old haunter, has gone mad. He's my mark. Don't go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. I have business there first. <laughs> Don't go. I have. So the tomb of the Odin Chapel is where we fought Gascoigne, correct? Yep. So should we go there? I think we should. Okay. So, I don't know if the teleporter works there, but you as well just running. Okay. There. So, this can be failed, can't it? 
yes. at this moment in time, like the whole quest line could be failed on the yeah. back of what we're about to try. And famously, from software games don't really have much of a <laughs> fail safe here. If you fail it, it's pretty much it. That's it done. The whole the quest. Show. Yep. Damn. And this is not oh. a trivial thing, really, is it? You can, if you die, you can. It's not. That's not the end of the world. It's if she dies. You're oh right. Okay. 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 I think we can do this. Because I died for the first time doing this. <laughs> Yeah, there he is there. Where? To the right. Whereabouts? He's in yellow. Oh, yeah, there he is there. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's just kicking about. You could technically maybe sneak up on him if you jump onto the bit where we found Gascoigne's wife. Yeah, okay, I am up know. for trying I'm, that. I don't know if the fall will... It might, you know, trigger oh, him a wee bit. I'm not sure. We'll see. So, and you need I'm to walk to sneak, don't you? Yeah, you have to go real okay. slow. Right, so I didn't notice you've, you've actually not, um, you haven't shown that off yet in this one. What, sneaking? Oh, yeah. And then if you hold an R2, you get a backstab. Mm -hmm. Well done, and then a visceral. Oh, look at the amount he's of health that didn't he's he take got off. A, a lot of health. Oof. I thought he was going to parry you, definitely one of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. And there's Island there, boys. Yep. And you have to be careful because if you hit Eileen too many times, you can cause her to get annoyed at you. Yeah. That think also might fail the quest. Aye. But see, to I see it as health like that, I don't think she'll fail because she's got a lot of health. So keep hitting her a wee bit. Yeah. I would let her finish her off. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Good Teamwork. Very good. Back up item. Air. That wasn't necessary of you, but you have my thanks. We made it with our lives. You're not bad at all. You must have killed Gascoigne as well, then. He was falling apart, I'm sure it had to be done. But try to keep your hands clean. A hunter should hunt beasts. Leave the hunting of hunters to me. Try to keep your hand, leave the it's just such a cool premise, isn't it? Like, there's a hunt on, there's an order of hunters, but they go crazy as well. So there's an act, yep. there's an order of hunter hunters to hunt yep. the hunters who have gone mad during the hunt. Yep. And then, um, that's the first time we, we hear that from her, that that's what she is. She's a hunter of hunters. Yep. So, and there's probably a reason he went mad in that particular area that we can find out if we go back to the hunting stream. Oh, really? Oh, do you want me to read that here? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. A carol rune that transcribes inhuman sounds. The air sees sentimentality in the warmth of blood and acknowledges visceral attacks as one of the darker hunter techniques. Or blood echoes gained from visceral attacks. Perhaps the air is a hunter who bears the echoing will of those before him. Cool. Right, well, I mean, not a very useful one, because the last thing I want from my visceral attacks are more blood echoes. I would, if it was more damage, I would maybe equip it, but that's a strange one, isn't it? More yeah, blood it's echoes. Good for if you're, if you're going to be doing, like, grinding, I suppose, and there's a lot of, like, parryable enemies, it's probably not too bad. Mm -hmm. right. it, doesn't, it doesn't excite you. Back to the dream. Mm -hmm. And then head to the bowl. The what? The magic fishbowl. The magic fishbowl. Oh, the magic fishbowl. Gotcha. You can now one? buy some new armor. Oh, okay. Not for that. And it is drip. It is good. That stuff, the Tomb oh, Prospector? No. Is it in the Maybe it's one? in the insight. It must be in the insight shop. Okay. Is it the Henrik stuff? Is it the, the yeah. stuff from the guy we've just killed? Oh, cool. Yeah. Ooh. <clears throat> uh, how much is that going to take? Six. Yeah, let's buy this stuff. Can we read it? Yeah. A hunter's hat worn by Henrik, the old hunter. The taciturn the, the, the <laughs> <laughs> old hunter Henrik was once partners with Father Gascoigne, and though they were a fierce and gallant duo, their partnership led to Henrik's tragical, tragically long <laughs> life. 
<laughs> Henrik's unique yellow garb is resistant to bolt and will be of great help to any hunter who has inherited the onus of the hunt. Cool. Yeah, let's buy it because we need bolt stuff to take on that boss that kicked her arse back in yeah. place. What's it called? My, uh, yeah, um, I, it's a weird one. It's like, it's technically Yarhagul, but see, when you get the lamp for that area, it's not in Yarhagul. No, yeah. Um, but yeah, I used this armor when I went, so in, I've, I've been kind of playing this in tandem, and I Ooh. took me ages, but I got Paro eventually. And it's such a nice outfit, isn't it? Yeah. Eventually, just, I might start you know, mixing and matching, doing a bit of fashion mm -hmm. souls before we come on. I think what I like about that is it's one of the few ones that are a wee bit bright. Everyone else is really dark and dingy, and some of them look obviously really cool, but this one's just got a weird Pop lightness to it. Yeah. Yeah. So now we can go to Cathedral Ward, correct? We've done mm -hmm. quite a lot yep. of the story there. Um, yep. I wonder, so we one. weren't very exhausted <laughs> in the place where we got killed by that Scooby-Doo moment. Oh, and actually that reminds me, we've actually missed some pretty important stuff in Old Yarnum as well. Have that we? I found in my playthrough as well. It includes a note and an item, not a weapon. A but note and a weapon. weapon. At some point. I mean, it may be worth going back now and just call this, which see, rather than starting anything crazy, because we're, Aye. you know, one nearly... clean up. Yeah, clean up episode. Yeah. So and it, you can get it pretty quickly as well. Yeah. A lot of lore being dropped. Yeah. A lot of characters being established. Right, old Yarnum. Yeah. So to remind you about old Yarnum, this was obviously probably the main town at some point, but it got so ravished by the, the scourge of beasts that they had to just burn the whole place down. And, and that's the place where you've got the hunter that seems to be defending anyone that comes in to kill beasts. So this was the main, or maybe the very first iteration of Yarnum, like this is the first Yarnum that they built and then when this went to shit they just built the rest above it, maybe. Yeah, I assume that must have been. Or maybe it was like old Yarnum was a place where people lived and then they built upper Yarnum around it and then this place went to shit, you know? Yeah. And then they just burnt it and everyone moved up to upper Yarnum. Mm. I know upper Yarnum isn't actually a phrase used, but yeah. old Yarnum. So what you want to do? Keep running straight, mm -hmm. and then keep to the right a wee bit, and just let yourself fall off. No, no, I like to go to the end and fall. Okay. Like that. Oh. Okay, and then, yep, yeah. and then, oh, and then try and dodge, but you're going to the right. Yeah. Maybe I should oh. have explained this more. Like no, 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 that, no, that way. No, I'm just healing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you sure. We might have fucked it, because you might have fell too far, actually, so let's go... Oh, as in, I need to go back up. No. Oh, wait, yeah, there. And then... Jump try there. and roll Oh no, yeah. he shot oh. me right off. Oh my god. Oh, oh my life. I actually thought that was going to be a death, so you can actually go in that way then. Oh, Alright, okay. That's fine. Great stuff. I think you were going to have to drop <laughs> the anyway. Oh, there's a chest. I don't think I've ever, ever got this, sticks. Really? Yeah. It's got, there's a really nice weapon, and I'll show you why it's nice. It's not going to work with our build long term, but there's something really, really nice about it. And I think he yeah, actually, oh, it's an armor set as well, we get. Right. Is it really? Yeah, a really handy one. Well. Potential. Six blood vials, I shall take that. Mm hmm. Good idea to have the torch out anyway, not just get the dark mm -hmm. in these guys. Mm. So, Triss is just cleaning up an old yarn on mute. Yeah. Nice. Oh, how many guys is there? Quite a few. <laughs> a guy, village. Uh -huh. Right, chest. This is just like a gemstone or some. All right, but nothing crazy. But it's when you go upstairs. Cool. Hmm. Random drop off a guy. It's a yeah. radiant blood gemstone. Unless it wasn't random, of course. Mm. Yeah, I've never been in this area ever. I don't think. No, it's quite cool. Cause it is. Pretty good stuff, and it, it's a weird thing, right? I wonder if you've done it. I always walk past the weapon, and I think you've done it as well, which is so funny. It must be hidden in a way that you don't see it going up, uh -huh, you see okay. it going down. Right, I see. Charred hunter stuff. Let's read the note there. <clears throat> oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> the red moon hangs low, and beasts rule the streets. Are we left no other choice than to burn it all to cinders? Interesting. 
Yeah, and there's the weapon there, but it just gets hidden behind that wee bit. Rifle the spear. rifle spear, right. Get this equipped. Or we'll read the, the, the thing as well. Oh, you can't even use yeah. it. Oh. Trick weapon crafted by the workshop heretics, the powder kegs. Prototype weapon serving as a simple firearm and spear. Possibly created in imitation of a lost Kanehurst weapon. Lacks any notable function, saving that is the only trick weapon with an attached gun. Cool. Right, so what's the requirements? We need blood tinge, two more blood tinge. Oh. Oh well, we can that get that quite easy. That's quite cool. I wonder if so, you can still see the... Can you equip it at all? Does it not let you? Uh, Same not, because it's greyed out. No. no. It's got an incredible R2. Does it? Where you basically go, like, three people forward with a massive lunge. It's okay. really ridiculous. Cool. Really good. We've got the first mention of the powder kegs here, the workshop heretics. Mm -hmm. Presumably that's what the guy in the tower is. Um, yeah. So... And... Have an area that we don't go to for a while called Kanehurst. Yeah, so the powder kegs we could take from workshop heretics, that just means that they were hunters once, but maybe used the tools they were given to basically just be wasters or whatever, from their own policy. Is that me done here, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's you okay. done. I'll just use one of the other things. Mm -hmm. So we've actually got enough blood echoes that we can do something with them. Yeah. The only thing is with the, any well, any new weapon that we get moving forward is that we've, we don't actually have that many blood um, shards right now. No. You do end up getting quite a few. Yes. Yeah, maybe you've done it already because you've upgraded two, two weapons, but you can eventually buy them. You might even be able to buy them now. Oh, okay. And that, and that. Check the bucket. Does it take a badge? Yeah, let's check the bucket. Um, oh, no, yeah, no, look. Yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. Bloodstone yeah. shard. 2,000 each. 2000, That's quite, not bad. Quite expensive, but yeah. I mean, yeah. Not too bad. Enough that you don't spam it, I suppose. Right, yeah. so... Oh, should we check the description of your armour? There you go. Oh, aye. What armour? Oh yeah, the, the charge stuff. Thing. Yeah, okay. One of the staple articles of hunter attire fashioned at the workshop, a product of the scourge of the beast that once plagued old Yarnum and culminated in the town's fiery cleansing. The cave's dampness makes it highly resistant to fire. Weathers of this attire hunted down victims of the scourge who had survived the raging flames and stench of singed blood. Wow. Cool. Yep, that's all the same. That's fire resistant stuff. I've never got that once. Let's yeah. say, let's put it on. Aye. Henrik's garbage lasted all of <laughs> one <laughs> outing. Oh yeah, it's just got that wee bit of something about yeah, it. Yeah, it's got it? some pizzazz. What could we keep yep. on? And then we've got the freedom of a hat because this set doesn't have a hat. Rumpled Yarnum mm. hat. Actually, kind of goes. Okay. Yeah. I, was, I put that on as a joke there, but that's um, <laughs> Yarnum Hunter cap. Maybe Henrik's. It actually did look pretty good with Henrik's cap on. You know, it's a yeah. wee pop of colour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at his goal. Yeah. From a nice. man who just woke up on a bench somewhere. We're looking pretty huntery these days. Can you level up with some of those? Sorry, yep. Welcome. What is it, Hewitt? Very well. Let me stand close. Nope. Needed oh, 200, 200 more. You'll definitely have some to pop, I think. I would say so, but we don't want to pop it. Are you thinking popping it on Blood <clears> Tinge? <throat> oh, no, 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 not necessarily. Just to It'd level be nice up. to see it, but. It's just, yeah, okay, I'll level Welcome up something then. Very well, let me... Okay, so we're 20 Vitality and Endurance away. I don't know. Keep the good times rolling. 21 yeah, sure. Endurance. Can literally never hurt. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, we're going back to Cathedral Ward, correct? Mm -hmm. To do a wee yep. bit more tidying up. Um, I think that this isn't quite an episode of gaming, even though we're getting to that time. I think since this is episode tidy up, the only thing I've really got right. in mind, Dougie, is to just kind of tidy up the nooks and crannies right now. Yeah, back to that door you were at. Back to that door I was at, just to see what's what. Yeah. In my playthrough, I've uh, I picked the Hunter's Axe, because it's actually the only one I don't think I ever used. That's actually really good. Is it? I think that was the one I used um, the very first time I played this. Yeah. 
Um, it took me ages to get used to um, it being a bit slower. Mm -hmm. Its problem is, see if you, you do an attack and then you miss with the next attack, mm -hmm. you never ever have time to just swing a third time. You always have to get out of the way. This is summon Henriette. Yeah. They, uh, see, at some point they changed some of the summons. So, Did they? maybe that was always there, but I used to think that. I remember that being Alfred. Ah, I may okay. be wrong on that. Yeah. Okay. Um, and at one point, uh, Hendrik was a summon for a particular fight. And then I think he was the maybe the he used to be the summon for Arrow, oh, and then for some reason they, pat, they patched him to be different. Oh really? Yeah. Curious. I know. So we've came in there and then we went down there, didn't we? Yeah. There's a few very similar. Mm. Oh. There's a few very similar nooks here. Like when you went down this way, it wasn't where I thought you were going. I thought you were going somewhere else. Because I went a different way, I actually haven't came this way in my film yet. Ah, I see. Isn't this where those people are, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've not found them yet. Okay. There's something just by, like, cobbled streets because they're, like, it's so easy to think you're on a different street. Mm -hmm. That guy's got my money. Got some soul. Yeah. Well, quite a few as well. Yeah, no, no level. joke. Do we really want to talk to that person before we've dealt with this? Yeah, why don't you pick your... Ah, he can't be stun locked. Forgot about that. He's a bit more beastly than your average Yarnamite. Ah, he's a beefy guy, and that weapon yeah, is it's like, no joke. And the, the moveset mm. can be quite unpredictable. Oh! 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 He seems to be stuck. Ah, he's stuck, that's <laughs> handy. Yep. Blood vials, pop one, why not? Oh yeah, I forgot there's a whole bit over here. Yeah. Like, and quite a hard section, if I remember yeah. correctly. Poison stuff again. Right, I'm getting Do shot at, so I'll go and speak to this, yeah. these people. I don't think mm. these people don't, like, join you or anything though, do they? No. So we can just zip through it. Deepest gratitude, very good. <laughs> Praise you! Praise the old damn church! <laughs> yep, that's all these people have got to say, but we've got two companions here, but no more down yeah. there. You remember what's coming up this way? Uh, maybe not. I just knew there was a Is room. That? <clears throat> yeah, there's a really challenging bit coming up if this is the place I'm thinking of. Ah, I see. Ooh, oh, I'll go there. It's another guy Double. festival though, already. Yeah, this bit, this bit here is actually quite challenging, but it's still the as hardest bit I'm thinking of. Yeah. Because if these guys are there, it's in you. It can be quite um, uh, troublesome. It's Christmas. Eat that guy. He can't be still yeah. knocked Oh, come on. Play the game, <laughs> son. The, the Hunter Axe is an amazing, you know, the diving R2? Yeah. you can do, it's got an amazing one of them, because its l one's a bit boring. All it does is it makes the axe longer, but it means when it does this diving overhead, you get, like, some some range on it. That's the one that Gascoigne used, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Aye. And you also have that, see, that spinny double move? That sends, like, almost <laughs> yeah. everybody flying. Does like, it? See, even the big ogre, that sends them flying. Nice. Yeah, so... What's... oh yeah. A watchman of Bergenworth guards the gate with a password. A secret adage of the Grand Cathedral. Go. Cool. A watchman Which guards the that'll passage, be right? Important, that'll be yeah. important pretty soon. So we just jump off here, yeah? Yeah. I so. Isn't this just the kind of weird... back way into a place? Well, and maybe I'm thinking of something. There's another rooftop you can go to, and you go down, and then, oh no, I know what it is. It's close to here actually, but yeah, yeah, you may as well go get that item. Yep. I know, I know it's a different bit. It's right, okay, back. gotcha. Basically, the other side of this, I think. Right, okay. tidy up. Just in case, because mm -hmm. there is not a way. Is it that way, maybe? Is that? Aye, that's the way I was thinking you were going originally. Yeah, this is a way, not isn't a huge it? Yeah, this is kind of the way after the next thing we're going to do. 
technically don't need to be here yet. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at his insight, everybody's gonna oh, go down to no. zero. That's bad. <laughs> See you later, doll. We must probably look them back and show them that though. Yeah. Wow. Okay. No match for the Tornatrus though. Shaman Bone Blade. No. Oh, such a good one, but it's so hard to use. Twin Bloodstone Charge times two. Yeah. So is that a weapon? It's a kind of like a throwing knife, throwing but it does knife. something different. So it's like, uh, right, <clears throat> a blade of bone coated with gruesome f spinal fluid used by old Labyrinth Watchers, in particular those presiding over rituals. When a victim is cut by this blade, the green spinal fluid temporarily numbs the senses, disturbing the target's gross motor skills. The blade, never intended for battle, must cut deep to be effective, and breaks. What that does, it's like a fucking confuse ray. So you stab an enemy with it and you'll start attacking his pals. Oh, right, um, okay. Which is amazing for a particular boss fight if you can land it, but it's slow and hard to land. Right, gotcha. Look at this out here then. Yeah. A way or I believe two. later on there will be an NPC here. Tempering Blood Gemstone. Oh, look at that view. Yeah. Oh. That's actually shown you an area that we'll be going to in a while. Oh. The windmills. Yeah, they don't put stuff in by accident, do they? No. You know, there's some, there's a place over there as well, huh? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Is that, is that? Yeah, dude. That Kinders? Yeah, dude. Oh, man. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Yeah. I always thought it was a total separate place that you never actually could see. The password. This will be the watchman then. Mm -hmm. Keep quiet is the only option. So the clue up at the top was that you need to speak the sacred adage of the healing church. So presumably yeah. every road, if we want to go down the main quest, is pointing towards High Tail and up to that cathedral. cathedral. Yeah, yep. the Grand Cathedral up at the top of the stairs. However, to the ire of some, I think we actually do have a little further side quest to do. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, do you think I've covered everything in this wee area? Yeah. Um, Are you happy with this? Yeah. There's only one extra place, but it's like, it's, oops, sorry, it's quite hard, and it's entirely pointless to come at this point. But if you were to head back, because if you were going to the main bit, uh -huh. there's a section to the right. Like, see if you head up, mm -hmm. head up as if you're going to go to Grand Cathedral. They keep looking for routes to the right hand side. I think you have to go quite far up as if you're almost going to go right into it. So maybe yeah. you could go either up the stairs or around the right and then go around that way because there's a route. Gotcha. Ooh. Just kind of tanking them there. Yeah. Ooh, made up with some blood bombs. Not ladder. Yeah, we have been up there. Oh, okay. Yeah, we come down um, there to open that gate. That's the end of that other way, isn't it? Yeah, you drop down from there, but, but um, I think we have been up the ladder at some point. I think it's just, you see a house and you can go up a wee bit, there's like an item. There's nothing major, but if you stay here, then head to the right, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is that was the satellite stairs, and now we're on the, the grand stairs yeah. leading up to the cathedral. So, so yeah, let's check it out. Up. Yep, and then head to the right. It's either oh maybe up and right again. Yeah, we'll be. Do that. Here we go. Oh, I, Grand Cathedral. Watch the guy. <clears throat> watch the guy with the sticks. They are bad news. Ah, a little bit. Because I fast. I mean, that was way faster than it should have been. <laughs> it's true. Nice. Like so we're bullets. Just need to get behind them, pretty much, don't you? Yeah. Ooh. Wonderful. Look at that. Just making short work. Yeah, so this is the Grand Cathedral's entrance. But we do have a couple of ways to go here, so let's go some yeah. ways. So you can go along here. I think you can eventually drop down. I might get myself totally mixed up again. Oh, there, yeah, there we go. You remember this bit? Mm. Beautiful view. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Is that Odin Chapel there then? No, what is no. that? That's a. Uh, oh, wait. Mm, maybe no, I think maybe my head, that's where you're about to go, but I think it might be around the corner a bit. Okay. Oh, 
keep your eyes peeled when you're coming down here. Yeah. Clothes, but they're not the bad thing. I wonder if you could probably. Yeah, go inside. Do I need insight for this? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Uh, you see that there? A hunter also wielding a tenitrus. Mm. Who wields a better? Let's see. <laughs> oh. Um, okay. Be careful not to go too far the direction that he was, by the way. Okay. Oh, she no she Jesus. Oof. And shields, by the way. Uh, shields and all. Nonsense. Oh, I keep messing with the gun. <laughs> or if I'm hitting, I'm hitting in a stupid time. I think I've aggroed something silly there, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've aggroed the other guy. But, hey, this is now an impossible oh. fight, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> and that one's the other one's the more annoying one because yeah. he's got like a gun that he just absolute spams the life out of. It's Ooh. so annoying. <laughs> Do they have a range? Are they, are they just going to keep chasing me? Um, I think eventually they'll run out. But you could. Oh, I think they maybe just caught the one. Oh, nice. Oh, mm. No, oh, it doesn't do enough damage. Um, no. Out of here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I would be surprised if they came much further than here. Okay. Ah, there they go away. Got, yeah, he's yeah. got the rifle spear that we picked up. That's true, another one has a tonitrus. Yeah, we'll do yeah, that on we'll the flip flop. We've got too many blood yeah. echoes right now to be tangled ah, with that. Certainly. So we'll also got in, the in entrance. The up there. But we can go this um, way, can we? Yeah. And, and this is go this way, we next. shall. Yeah. Bloodshot eyeball. Mm hmm. What is? Material used in a holy chalice ritual. An exquisite eyeball removed quickly after death, or perhaps even before. Used to unlock the seal of an of the old labyrinth hinter tombs. Cool. Yeah, I so mean, you need not these... for the owner of the eyeball, I suppose, but... No. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> so those, those items that you have to use to unlock what we call the, the chalice dungeons. And I, I, I've never gotten so deep into it. This will be us doing it for the channel. Will be the first time I'll ever really have properly done them. On a couple, like you use different items to unlock different types of dungeon stuff. I think. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely make yeah. Dave to help us. And that <laughs> he's done yeah. Every single one. Friend of the channel, Dave is our Bloodborne specialist here. Yeah. He was. Um, he played Bloodborne so much to get the platinum that he said he was even like freaking out sometimes <laughs> like he'd been in this he was in this world so much that there's been times he was in the shower and he would just like hear the noise of one of the beasts and freak out <laughs> like have to go to the shower and make sure nothing was in his room and stuff yeah like that. that's what you know a game's got you yeah, when it's like <laughs> showing up in real life you know yeah yeah you yeah, know it's a that's... wonder we haven't had Dave on yet I know we need to I get know. our Dave on um, for this run I said to him, he says he, he's probably he would be interested in having a wee um, co-host with us at some point. Oh, nice. But he did say he would like to maybe um, <laughs> refresh himself with some of the lore because it's been so long. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can but keep him right, eh? Same way you're going to keep yeah. me right. I, I told him to level up a character as well because I think, can you three play a challenge? Pretty sure you can, yeah. I think you can go up to four, yeah, so I'll see if he can get himself leveled up and we can beat him. I, I think if you were to tell Dave the lore of this, he would remember it pretty quickly. You know, yeah. you doesn't need to do any research, but yeah, when we get to the business end of the lore, because right now, guys, viewers, we are kind of role-playing as our characters acting like we don't know nothing. Biggie's told you yeah. this before, the story does go a little bit apeshit, not too long from now. Yeah. So we're going to start really getting into some of the connections and stuff, it's right now, we just thought it'd be fun to, these guys are a pain in the fucking arse, by Aye, the way, they really are. Yeah, no. to just role-play the fact that your character doesn't know what's going on. It's one way to immerse yourself in the world. Yep. Well done. Thank you. Plenty of bullets now. Yep. That is maybe the best bullet farm in the whole game. True. Mm. That is a wee bit of a run, I suppose. Yeah, that's the only problem, isn't it? Yeah. We'll all be back to this very area at some point. 
Yep. For a reason. Or is it maybe another? Am I misremembering that? No, I don't think we'll be back here. No, there is. There's a kind of place that looks similar to this, but it's got a big yes. statue in the middle of it. Sorry. Spoiled myself there. Hmm. This is a weird. Oh, oh, that was cinematic here. Yeah. <laughs> I did not mean that, Vish. Uh, if you had this screen, you would have went now. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, easy. First <laughs> time. Boys over here. Yeah. This area is weird where it's like. It's such a. I don't know, it, it feels very different to the rest of the game. You're in this kind of. What would you even dis call this place? It's like, like a, 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 a hovel. It's got, yeah, it's like backwater town um, full of wee nasty old ladies. Yeah. Um, but, and again, it's another optional area, but it's got probably, I would say, the best um, reward yeah. for all the optional places it's, I can think of. Yeah, it's for sure got a non optional reward. So, yeah. do you know what? From there, I think we're going to call that an episode of gaming. And next time you see us, mm. in fact, do you know what? We'll bring you along to level up so that the next episode doesn't start with menu and we can just get it right in. So it's not quite an episode of gaming just yet. We'll level up first. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> we need insight. Yeah, look. Oh, wait, actually, wait, look at this. You don't. You can still, you can still level up. Ah. As long as you've done it before. Okay. And now the doll won't speak to you. Interesting. So, even though we've got a crazy amount of souls, it's actually just two levels. So, yeah. let's go with vitality and endurance. Why in the world not? But yeah, there's yeah, nice. no insight. Consequences. <laughs> and now we've got the second tombstone. Mm, yeah. Now, McCharnel Lane is just the first and the second tombstone there, so that's good. Yeah. Now I confess, see the first time I played this area, I think I thought it was the way and yes. got a bit discouraged when it kind of results in just the reward and being sent back to Yarnum. but cool area, um, it shouldn't take us too long to do it, I think a single episode next no, time should I was gonna say, knock yeah, it out. Single so, episode would be fine. Yeah, it does seem to just be a wee village that's kind of become a barnacle to Yarnum. can't even really see Yarnum. I suppose we have trekked yeah, through the cause... woods for a little while. But Up until this point, even the woods seem a bit weird because we've been in a city the entire mm -hmm. time. So we're talking Victorian buildings. It's still quite modern for it being a bit like, mm -hmm. I don't know, like Victorian-ish. But then you come here and it's just like... Backwater. A, yeah, a fairy tale nightmare. Yeah, the peasantry. Okay, well, mm -hmm. we'll call that an episode of the game. We'll say cheerio to you. Um, mm. You got a question or anything, Doug? Lore-related? Um, let us know... What part of the game you're most looking forward to if you've played this before? That's a cool one. See if you have no played it, guess. <laughs> guess, guess what your own favourite part is. Guess what, <laughs> guess what bit you're looking forward to the most. All right, okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, okay. Right. See you later. Bye. Bye.